Hey everybody, Digital Unity here, and welcome back to the Botto Daily Challenge. Today we got Sebulba, we got Beto's Wild Ride, and we got Skips. <laughs> so, a couple things about this. One, we've talked about this before, Sebulba, despite always winning, uh, he's, he's not even remotely the fastest character in the game. He, it's not even close. Ben's got him beat by, like, several miles. Two! That's the skip. I didn't do it exactly right, but that's that's more or less what the skip looks like and what we're trying to do here. It shaves a, a little bit of time. It cuts, like, a corner, I think. Not enough to shake our Ben Quadaneros. No skips time, I don't think. Uh, there's another skip that can be done, which is Tent to Tunnel, but I don't know if Sebulba can do Tent to Tunnel, and I don't know if I can do Tent to Tunnel. Tent to Tunnel is also, like... I'm not sure how many of the top players do Tent to Tunnel, so I'd rather not risk that right now. One hundred two fifty-eight second lap, that's not bad. Um, I did one quick test to see if Sebulba could even do the skip on 30 FPS before I started this recording session, and I was pleasantly surprised to see that yes, he can. So, uh, you know, this is going great so far. Oh, I had to open my mouth. I had to say something. Diamond time on this one is a 253, which scares me a little bit. Um, I don't know if I can actually hit that. That almost strikes me as tent to tunnel requiring to hit that. I, I've never even, like, looked sideways at Tent to Tunnel, because I just... it's... it's intimidating. It's very intimidating. I don't know, it, it just... I don't see it ending well if I try to do Tent to Tunnel. It's... it's a very risky maneuver. Walk a little... I don't know what happened that I screwed up the skip, but I, I definitely did. Uh, there's one thing Sebulba can do that no other racer can do that I didn't show off, I think, the last time that we had Sebulba, which is... That. It's not helpful. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't even interact with the AI racers. But you can flash your vents. So we have that. What did I hit? Question mark? I have like absolutely no idea what I came into contact with to lose an engine, but okay game. That's how you feel. Yeah, I should have seen that one coming. This is an interesting daily though. It is not every day. Well, I mean, of course, it's not every day. That's the def that's the point of the dailies. But it's not every day that you get to see Sebulba. I don't know whether to be slightly relieved or slightly annoyed that we didn't get this first try. Erring towards slightly annoyed. Oh boy! Put it out, please. Could have definitely been worse, but could have definitely been better as well. No. So I don't know what I'm gonna do if I get a uh, bronze time here, because I've been using the voice clip of "You cannot beat Sebulba, he always wins." But if I eat Sebulba, of course I can't beat Sebulba because I am Sebulba. But at the same time. I always win, so I should be able to beat myself. I mean, how would I lose to me? I'm presented with a Schrodinger's Bulba. We'll do one slot. 
103.12. Not a bad time, not a great time. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Got no idea what happened there, but it was certainly something. An event did in fact transpire. Lunga F Mammoth split X configured in a lovely shade of orange. Truly, Sevulba's pod is one of the most iconic vehicles in cinema. Like, I mean, I, I just, I can't think of anything that I recognize more. Yeah, that was gonna, that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. The minute I lost the boost, I knew that was bound to happen right there. Sometimes you just gotta press the button and have a little fun. Put it out, please! Lost a full second on that lap, dude. Not cool. Honestly, I was a little worried about how that was going to play out, but we're still alive? We didn't fire. I'll take it. You know, I'll take what I can get. And what I can get is apparently a 102.20 lap. Right. Doing all right here. Do we got it? Is it over? Fired way too early, but that is three successful laps. And hey, it's a gold time. That's not so bad. I'm not sure diamond is achievable because I have to save like seven seconds. No, I have to save 14 seconds. But I'll take a gold time. I'll absolutely take a gold time on a skips challenge. I'll, I'll absolutely take a gold time. That's that's a that's a tough one. But that was a good challenge, and I enjoyed myself very much.
That's going to do it for today's Botto Daily Challenge. If you like challenges like this and want to try them out for yourself, come on down to the Star Wars Episode One Racer Discord. We get a new challenge every day in the Botto's Junkyard channel, and I make a video on it every day. So if you don't want to miss a beat, you can always subscribe. Once again, I'd like to quickly announce that it's tourney season, baby! That's right, every year we do a tournament in cooperation with the lovely folks over at Speed Gaming to see who is the fastest pod racer in the galaxy. Qualifying starts in just two days, and I will be part of the first qualifying match that will be broadcast live. It's gonna be a lovely time, full of excellent racing skill and a beautiful display of driving acumen, so if you don't want to miss any of that, Keep an eye on my community tab, where I'll send links to all of the streams as they happen. Until next time, I've been Digital Unity, and this has been Sebulba. He always wins. <laughs>